hello guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prevent SQL injection for MySQL using prepare command from PDO object what happened is uh, database server precompile the SQL statement and reserve a place for for the name uh, for the name or ID information this information then is is uh, supplied later on a skewed uh, uh, execution or a skewed um, face so using this SQL select from users where the username is named this is dangerous because an attacker can uh, pass malicious code to our form and bypass the the form then and later damage the database so today I'm going to show you how to to prevent prevent SQL injection actually you can prevent SQL injection by either by using PDO object or by using my SQL I so the first thing we need to prepare the we need to use the prepare function to prepare the statement and then later we supply the we supply it to SQL so here I'm going to uh, to use this object D new PD object and on our object we have D, D, DS which is data source which is handle this handle and we have a user a root and also we have a password here as a password so I'm going to use um, this object dollar dh uh, dbh then we call the function prepare pray prepare and in here we're going to pass uh, this statement pass in this function and uh, we are using named so we have to use this before the name you have to put this uh, column here and uh, the name this is a, a prepare statement select from uh, select all from the users where name is equal to this named and uh, uh, later we have to supply this statement to the SQL whereby uh, use dollar SQL then you uh, you call a execute execute function and uh, in our x function we need to pass the first we put named uh, and uh, before that we need to pass an array here array and this array is going to have the is an associate array we pass array and uh, and then we pass the name the name in our database at this moment I have um, uh, that I have two names John and Grace and uh, I'm going to pass John here John and uh, we close it and uh, we save and we run the program and we see here I got the John information from our database and uh, so this is one way of uh, prevent the SQL injection but you can use my SQL and my ask how what we are going to do we are going to change this name we put the question mark space uh, this is holder for whatever you're going to pass so we are saying select all from users where name is equal to whatever you're going to pass here and here we need to pass the the name because it's a little bit hard hard, hard coded because the form normally you have to write the variable which is it's post or get that will hold the the user input from the 
from the form but here because we don't have a form I'm going to pass the name of John straight to the array and uh, if we save this time we may put the name of Grace because I've got Grace also as well so that we see the the difference and uh, we save and we run it so we see right now we got a grace so so guys this is was short video to show you how to prevent SQL injection and uh, actually I did this on my uh, my final thesis when I was graduated from uh, uh, my degree program and I had the to do the security on a uh, web and I this was one of the of the task I had so that's why I got to understand how it works so what do you have to to do it uh, to understand how this prepare function works and also execute function works so thank you guys and remember to like and subscribe bye bye